Okay, so I've finally got USB boot working. This is me breaking my HDMI adapter. Uh, luckily, I have another one. Uh, I've officially got USB boot working on Raspberry Pi 4. Thanks to Marsan because he gave me the last little tip that got me past it. I tried for hours and here's some of the uh, video takes that I was recording trying to get it, all the failed attempts uh, where nothing worked. Okay, so I plug in my other HDMI cable, uh, which is a much better one anyway, and just to show you the bottom of the Pi, to show you there is no SD card in the Pi, and uh, you can see there's the only thing plugged in is USB into my uh, SSD drive, which is in a caddy, which is a 60 gig one I've just bought. Uh, so, switching on. Don't know when I switch on, must be now, because the monitor's just picked up. And uh, so this is a first boot of the SSD drive, uh, and you can see, and I can actually switch over to screen capture now. Oh, I'll let it get into the operating system a bit more, and I'll switch over to screen capture. Oh, I'm pressing screen capture now, look. And it cut out because it uh, the screen cut out, so back into screen capture now. So this is first boot. Uh, it's my 60 gig uh, new SSD drive that I've just bought. I wrote the image with Raspberry Pi Imager, uh, and first boot usually takes a bit longer anyway, so that's why the reason for the black screen and stuff like that. But uh, I did get it to successfully work on a USB stick, but it was terribly slow, uh, and that's because it was a USB 2, uh, not a fancy stick at all. But this SSD in the caddy that I've got, and I'll put a link in the description to all the bits that I'm using, and I'll also go through this in more detail. It kind of is in the comments, but uh, it's a bit of a risky one because it's all... Um, it's the latest firmware and things like that, but this is an official USB boot for Raspberry Pi 4, so it is being officially supported, it's just not in the mainstream of updates yet. Um, but uh, so far, uh, it's looking really good and it's nice and fast. I was trying to find out here um, the size of the hard disk, uh, and you can see right at the bottom of the folder, it's actually written there, uh, 49 gig or whatever it says, it's very small on my edit screen at the moment. But uh, just to show that it's all up and running, uh, as I say, I will put uh, a way of doing it in uh, in another video, but I'll try and sort of gather my thoughts and work out all the processes that were needed uh, and then put it in in a bit more, uh, you know, a video that's easier to understand. Anyway, so uh, I'm really happy with this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.